So in this lecture, we are going to discuss that uh, AN is a subgroup of SN. So we know all that what is AN? AN is the collection of all even permutations in SN. And uh, we will now prove that AN is a subgroup of SN. So if I want to show that AN is a subgroup of SN, we have to show the four, uh, the three things, uh, because for subgroup, we, we do not have to check associativity. So the first thing is that we need to check is about closure. So I will draw a picture here. So this is SN, which is containing all permutations. From that, I'm going to choose all elements, all those permutations, which are even permutations. And this set I want to prove is a subgroup of uh, the set SN, of the group SN. So let us take two permutations. Let me call them Sigma and Tau. So Sigma and Tau are in AN. And I have to prove that Sigma multiplied by Tau or Sigma composite Tau that is also an element of an okay so let sigma belong to an and tau belong to an therefore i have to show to show that sigma composite tau also belongs to what also belongs to an now how will i show this now sigma belongs to an means what can I say about sigma? Means sigma is even permutation. Now, once sigma becomes even permutation, I will uh, write sigma in the form of what? In the form of transpositions. Okay, because we know even permutation means what? How many transpositions are there with in sigma? There are even number of transpositions. So sigma. I can write it as sigma 1, composite sigma 2, composite sigma 3, composite so on, and sigma 2k because there are what? There are even number of transpositions in what? In sigma because sigma is what? Sigma is even transpose, even permutation. Similarly, tau is also an element of an, therefore, tau is also even permutation. And therefore, I can write the uh, element tau as product of transpositions. And those transpositions are also even in number tau 1 composite tau 2 composite tau 3 composite. Suppose there are tau 2m transpositions because 2m is again an even number. Okay, therefore, when I write sigma composite tau, I will just write it as sigma 1 composite sigma 2 composite dot 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 sigma 2k composite tau 1 composite tau 2 composite tau 2m so this means that sigma composite tau has how many transpositions now it has 2k plus 2m number of transpositions and which is nothing but 2 times k plus m transpositions and which is equal to 2 times k dash where k dash is what k dash is a k plus m number of transpositions so this means that sigma composite tau also has even number of transpositions and therefore sigma composite tau will become what sigma composite tau is even permutation because it has even number of transpositions so this is an even permutation and therefore sigma composite tau is basically an element of what is basically of an so i had taken sigma in an and now i have to, and then i have tau in an and therefore i concluded that sigma composite tau is also an element of an so closure is through associativity we need not prove because we are proving that it's a subgroup the second important thing is identity belongs to an this we have to justify so why identity is called as even permutation and why identity is not 
an odd permutation once i justify that identity is an even permutation then we will conclude that identity will be an element of what identity will be an element of an now if you just try to look the simple calculation so i will just show you that calculation we will just calculate what we will calculate 1 2 into 1 2 now this 1 2 into 1 2 i want to simplify what is 1 2 into 1 2 okay now now how do you calculate this particular thing how do you simplify this particular thing if you know from our previous classes that this is product of non disjoint cycles right and in my previous classes we i have done about how to write a product of non disjoint cycles into product of disjoint cycles that we have done so you remember that we always go from the opposite side we first take the rightmost cycle which is 1 going to 2 and 2 going to 1 and the next so i'm going to call the cycle a and this cycle is b which is 1 going to 2 and again 2 going to 1 this i'm going to call cycle b so i will start with 1 from cycle a so in cycle a 1 goes to 2 under cycle a then i will move to cycle b and I will ask what is 2 going to in cycle B. From cycle B, 2 goes to 1. So this eventually means that 1 is going to 1 itself. So 1 goes to 1, therefore I will close this bracket. Now let, let us ask what is 2 going to from cycle A, where does 2 goes to under cycle A. Under cycle A, 2 goes to 1. And under cycle B, 1 goes to 2. So finally we understand that 2 also goes to 2 and therefore this bracket gets closed and so this uh, so from this I get that 1 2 multiplied by 1 2 comes out to be what 1 goes to 1 and 2 goes to 2 now this calculation is going to help us so what I will do is I will just write this 1 2 3 4 dot 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 n this is a this is a cycle uh, this is a this is a cycle which is permutation in what this is a permutation in sn right and i will multiply it by what i will multiply it by i'm so i'm sorry i'll write a permutation i will write the permutation like this one two three up to n in this how will i write up the cycle one two cycle one two means one goes to two and two goes to one and 3 goes to 3 and all other symbols are going to themselves 4 goes to 4 so this permutation is nothing but what if we try to write the, this permutation in the form of cycle it will look like 1 goes to 2 and 2 goes to 1 so cycle gets closed 3 goes to 3 4 goes to 4 and n goes to n and therefore we omit the single people and this is equal to how much this is actually equal to 1 2 so this means that 1 2 is actually nothing but this permutation right and when i one multiply one two with one two i'm trying to tell you this this is one two three up to n two one three four up to n multiplied by itself one two three four dot 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 till n and 2, 1, 3, 4, dot, 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 n. This calculation is giving us how much? This calculation earlier, we have seen that it is giving you 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2. What about this? What about the right-hand side calculation? The right-hand side calculation, when I multiply these two permutations, I will get 1, 2, 3, 4, up to n. Let me see. 1 goes to 2, and 2 goes to... 2 goes to 1, so again 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 1, and 1 goes to 2, 3 goes to 3, and 3 goes to 3, so 4 goes to 4, and so on, n goes to n. So this is nothing but what? This is the identity permutation, which is 1, 2.
so what have we observed from all these things is that let me minimize the screen and show you this particular calculation again this means that this one two is nothing but identity we have just now proved that it is equal to identity so what we have done is we have written identity as product of one two with one two how many permutation how many transpositions are there there are two transpositions and therefore by definition identity becomes what identity becomes an even permutation so e is product of two transpositions and therefore i can now declare that identity is even trans even permutation which finally gives us the conclusion that identity is an element of an so identity is also a even permutation therefore in the picture above now i can write e inside the set an so here in this picture now i can write e so identity is also an even permutation okay now what is remaining is we want to see is that suppose sigma is a permutation in an i want to show that sigma inverse is also sitting in the same set sigma inverse is also an even permutation so if you take a permutation and if that permutation is even uh, i want to here show that sigma inverse also will turn up to be an even permutation so how will you justify this so let me go below and write the justification for inverse exists so third part is sigma is even if sigma is even if sigma belongs to an to show sigma inverse is also in the same set an means inverse exists it should not happen that if i take an even permutation and if i find the inverse of that permutation that permutation should not become an odd permutation otherwise the inverse will go outside the set we don't want that to happen we want sigma inverse to be in the same set an to if you want to show the subgroup okay so so sigma is in an this means sigma is even permutation and therefore what can i say about sigma sigma is product of how many transpositions sigma is product of even trans even number of transpositions that is uh, sigma is equal to what sigma 1 multiplied by sigma 2 what are sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 1 sigma 2 are transpositions okay up to sigma 2k so how many transpositions are there these are even number of transpositions now i will find out what is sigma inverse what is sigma inverse sigma inverse means sigma 1 multi composite sigma 2 composite sigma 2k the inverse okay it's inverse now in group theory we have done a result that if you have a star b inverse then what is a star b inverse it is not equal to a inverse b inverse it is equal to how much it is b inverse star a inverse so the inverse of this sigma 1 multiplied by sigma 2 multiplied by sigma 2k all these are transpositions okay and what is the inverse of their multiplication the inverse will turn up to be sigma 2k inverse multiplied by dot 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 multiplied by sigma 2 inverse multiplied by sigma 1 inverse right which is equal to what is sigma 1 inverse what is sigma 1 inverse now we all know that sigma 1 is nothing but what sigma 1 is a transposition now for sigma 1 is a two cycle so sigma 1 is say k comma let me not use k sigma 1 is mn sigma 1 is a transposition so sigma 1 should look like this and what is sigma 1 multiplied by 
sigma 1 sigma 1 multiplied by sigma 1 means mn multiplied by mn and what is mn multiplied by n mn in the earlier calculation we have seen that 1 2 multiplied by 1 2 came up to be identity so in the similar fashion when i multiply mn with mn this cycle to two cycle composite this cycle this i will again write as a product of disjoint cycles you will get m goes to m and n goes to n and that becomes what identity so this means that sigma 1 composite sigma 1 is again identity and this in 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 short tells us that inverse of sigma 1 is sigma 1 itself so what am i trying to tell you in this small calculation from this small calculation i'm trying to tell you inverse of a transposition is again a transposition and it is the same transposition right so so what is the inverse of the transposition three four what is the inverse of this transpo of this transposition the inverse of this transposition is again the transposition it will not be a three cycle or a four cycle the inverse of this transposition is again a transposition and it is the same transposition okay so therefore from that i can now say what is sigma 2k inverse the inverse of sigma 2k will be sigma 2k itself multiplied by so on what is inverse of sigma 2 inverse inverse of sigma 2 inverse is sigma 2 itself and this will be sigma 1 also how many people are there in this multiplication there are 2k transpositions in this particular product so this means that sigma inverse is product of even transpositions and therefore sigma inverse finally becomes a member of what becomes a member of an so we have proved that closure means any even any even permutation multiplied by any even permutation is again an even permutation by multiplication i mean composition then in the second part we proved that identity is also an even permutation because identity can be written as 1 2 multiplied by 1 2 1 and 2 are not special here i can write 3 4 multiplied by 3 4 still it will work okay in any case you have two transpositions that is what i want to show here and third part i have taken taken a sigma which is an even permutation i will write it as a product of two case transpositions and when i take the inverse the order will just get changed so sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 2k will just become what sigma 2k sigma 2k minus 1 up to sigma 2 sigma 1. still the number of transpositions has not changed the number of transpositions has remained same and and not only that it, it has not happened that after taking the inverse of a transposition it did not remain a transposition now we know that inverse of a transposition is again the same transposition so the number of transpositions will not increase or will not decrease and therefore sigma inverse also becomes the even term so this means that an now is uh, satisfying all the th three properties of being a subgroup and therefore we can declare that an with respect to the composition operation is a is a subgroup of what subgroup of sn with respect to composition